Hey guys, welcome back to another Rose Citizens update video. Yesterday, our Halloween update finally came out. So, what's new? Rose City Halloween Festival. The festival has started. Check out the rides, food, stands, quests, exclusive furniture, and more. Zombies are invading. They're back and hungry for brains. Use weapons and kill them to earn scraps and progress towards limited awards. New bunker blueprint plus furniture, spend scrap for limited apocalypse themed furniture, new Halloween furniture, trick or treat and earn candy to buy this year's Halloween exclusives. First, let's check out the Rose City Festival. So if you follow these arrows, the Halloween festival is in the same area as it normally is, just over here next to the fire station. So... Then we hop out and we have the ferris wheel which we normally have um we have the farmer's market right here with the pumpkin patch and the maze is in the middle of the uh place now there's more parking and oh there's some music um hopefully the teacup ride actually works this year <laughs> um and so we have our stage right here. Oh, and it looks like it's Julia and someone named Justin. Normally we have Catherine there, but that looks like it's Catherine over there. We have the exclusive shops right here with Harry. Um, we have the hot dog um, stand with Nancy and Juan. Um, and over here is a graveyard, a fake graveyard, I hope. Um, with some photo booth areas, and then we have the tower, um, and there's some music on these rides this year, which is pretty cool. And then there's pumpkin carving, and then apparently Survivor Steve and Scientist Sal are back. And then Seth is right here, but you can't buy them at the moment. There might be another update, maybe to bring them back. Alright, for our first quest, let's check out what Doomsayer is talking about. So he has his little sign, the end is here. He looks a little different. He's a little gray. Maybe he <laughs> turned into a ghost or something. The end is now. What's going on? Zombies everywhere. How can I help? Go to Steve at the festival. He'll know what to do. He always knows what to do. As I showed you guys earlier, Survivor Steve is over here near the exclusives area. So we just talked to him. Um, what's going on? It's been years. Um... This people have been spying on him. Uh, the reason the reason the zombie showed up won't matter if you're dead. What do I need to do? Grab a weapon and use it on any zombie that comes near you. If you manage to last through a whole wave of them, so he recommends a bunker and more survivor. So what we have to do is survive a zombie attack, which brings me to our next part of the update zombies are finally back so zombie attacks will happen randomly during the day uh there's no time you can just set it to for the zombie attacks to happen um zombies drop scrap which is basically why there's a gray zero up in your top right so this is your actual money and then your candies right here and then this is your scrap um it can be used to purchase new furniture and there are plaque rewards for killing zombies and collecting ZNA, which is part of Scientist Sal's quest right here. If you level up your criminal XP during the downtime before the zombie apocalypse part, uh, you can use those guns that you unlocked from the criminal job for killing zombies. You can use bats, you can use bombs. Uh, which you could like stand on a short like platform and then just wait for all the zombies to crowd around you and then put a bomb on one of them and then it, it'll explode them all which is pretty cool um, but I suggest being with like a bunch of people because the spawn rates for zombies are a lot more if you all are in one area and also, if you're just using the pistol, make sure to aim for the head because it takes 20 damage instead of the body, which is 10. And Survivor Steve was talking about a bunker, and there seems to be one right here. So if you go to the festival, there's a little bunker that you can check out. It's called the Small Bunker. This is the new blueprint. 
Um, you can get this by fulfilling this quest with Steve. So make sure to do so because this will be a limited house and it's really cool. This is the only house that is just fully underground and also it's the second house that has a basement. And before you try to do a zombie attack, make sure to talk to Scientist Sal. So this is our second quest. It's called the Zombie Solution. So we talked to Scientist Sal. Um, the living dead is there anything i can do to help kill as many zombies as possible and bring dna samples so we want to kill 10 zombies and then we want to survive a zombie attack and if you go up to sal if you get a specific amount of kills 75 300 750 2500 you can earn trophies for killing zombies these are wall plaques so they're different from the other trophies that we've gotten and they're pretty cool so make sure to get them all right so here we have Catherine's quest she's at a cotton candy stand she's not really sad uh, but she spent all her money on cotton candy. Um, she doesn't know if it tastes bad. So she's giving us all samples. Um, and I think it looks, tastes good. Um, so she wants us to give it to other people. So you have to give it to Juan. Ricky. And Justin, who is Julia's plus one. Next we have the witch, uh, you have to find her potions just in the maze, you kind of just look around for this one. All three of these quests are daily quests so you can redo them every day and you get a bunch of candy for them. And then we have Ricky's quest at the pumpkin patch, this one's similar to past years, you kind of just suggest any pumpkins and then you kind of just randomly find it and i found it the second one trick-or-treating is really similar from last year it's every night at 8 15 pm when the pop-up comes up uh you gotta press it then um and it actually starts at nine though um i suggest checking out my tips and tricks video from last year i'm probably not going to make another one since it's exactly the same but make sure to check that out so you can get a ton of candy for that all right so furniture we have new furniture all together we have some really really cool items that you can buy for scrap or these items are here to stay such as this boiler um, these canteens and all these little stuff make make sure to check if they're for scrap um, this cup is for normal cash and there's just some really really cool items that are here to stay and they just add a lot of detail they're really good for let's say the garage or just outside because they they look awesome all right so we have some new cute little items for the halloween season also the outfit uh area has been updated which is pretty cool so we have oh this is cute and then we have like a dinosaur costume some uh new hair um a lot of old limiteds as well but there are some pretty cool new costume type thing thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to kill some zombies. Bye.